Jeff, what are you doing underneath the floorboards? How did you even get there? Huh? Get out of there. It's nasty. Get out. Get out. Come on. Weirdo. beautiful morning. It's early still, but we have to be in the lift at probably around 8, so still got to set up all the lines. And um, also I got to call Tito again and just reconfirm with him that he hasn't forgotten that I have twin keels because it's a little different on the train that you go up. Well, at least it's not raining. It doesn't look like it's going to rain in the next hour, so that's good. We're out of coffee, which is not so good. <laughs> but, um, yep. Yeah. Might have to put some fresh diesel into the tank so we make it over there. <laughs> and uh, just set up the lines and go. lift is always a little bit nerve-wracking because the currents are really strong and they usually come from the side and plus you're just hanging on some lines being pulled up a hill but luckily everything went okay So here is a Pandora box, ready to be smacked. When I had pulled out the stainless steel water tank in Visama Marina, I had found a whole bunch of lead bars below that tank. Maybe it's all that... No, it's definitely something embedded in there, huh? Smells. Anybody knows what this is? We don't. But it's bad. Bad, 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 and it has to go. It's Manny's first job to smack away all those bars. Yay, guys! Yay, yay! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How was your first day of work? I'm sore. I don't know, I didn't see Manny. I was All in day. the hole. That <laughs> hole. I call out to him. <laughs> there we are. So like, Manny, take a break. No. Oh, it smells good down here. <laughs> it's like, oh, it smells really nice. <laughs> You're really high on diesel fumes? Getting high. Yes. <laughs> you look a little bit exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> the work's not done. Let's get back to work. Now That's let's right. go eat. Thank you guys for I'm your great work to today. You're welcome. They're locked away now. They're finishing tonight. It's not over yet. We're just grooving in. <laughs> not until the fat lady sings. Let's see. Uh, what about that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I am polishing and making holes. Making holes? <laughs> I'm cleaning oh, no. holes, asking them to show themselves. These are all the little spots. This was the original hole over this way. I am just changing the oarings of my dripless thing and uh, the set screws. So that's nearly done. 
And then Manny has the really bad job. He's still on um, Pandora. Hey, Manny. Yes. How is it down there? <laughs> ah, is it starting to get annoying yet? Mm. Yeah, like, ye one. like yesterday. <laughs> like since yesterday. We're getting there. We were all working on different projects. Manny was uh, working on the lead bars, Maria on the holds in the aft cabin, and I wanted to change the bearings of my tiller, so I was trying to take that apart. Maria was just... Uh, I was poking through them. <laughs> Maria was just... We're just outside grinding, and I was like cleaning some spots that need to be front, and Maria was cleaning the spots for the welding. And uh, then Maria went between the keels. Um, for some reason, all of a sudden, I hear her talking to Manny, and Manny was inside and she was outside, and they were kind of communicating pretty well. So I was like, huh, I wonder if they found a little speaking hole there. <laughs> and they did. I found two. So, it's really good that we're doing this, and it's good that we didn't poke around with this shit in the water, because uh, it would have been a bit of a pain in the ass. A bit of a sub submerging, uh, <laughs> submerging mission. Measuring. <laughs> Are you hiding there, taking a nap? I built a little tent inside Kyle so I could uh, clean the area with all the holes with a grinder and to prevent all the metal dust flying around inside Kyle. And at the same time, Maria was taking off the paint from the outside between the keels. Ready for the welding craziness? Once Manny had removed all the lead bars, which were probably about 40 in total, and I had smacked the shit out of the area and cleaned it real good with a grinder, it revealed an area of more or less 60 centimeters times 30 centimeters with a couple of fairly big holes and just general corrosion in that area. So each day on the hard was costing money, so we had to find a quick solution to make Carl able to float again. And luckily Eric had some marine grade aluminum laying around, so we decided to cut off a plate from that and weld it on top of the infected area. What have you been doing today? Sucking chemicals. Ah! Paint. Where's your mask? Primer. It's done. It's not done. <laughs>
No, it's good. We got this paint. We got grinding done down the pole, both sides, top and bottom. Well, sides and bottom. No, we just covered up the patches. Nice. Good job. You still smiling? Always. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Still smiling. What have you been up to today? Woo! We're being holy holies. Fixing holy holies. You have to talk a little louder. Oh, fixing holy holies. <laughs> How many did you fix today? We were only two, but then we were just uh, patchwork and the rest. Okay. And now? So now we are going in for the mother. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I made this plate today. So Maria? Yeah. Is it gonna be okay? I think so. have been working all day and all night to make sure that we spend as little time as possible in yard and I was so so lucky to have Manny, Maria and Eric give me a hand with all the projects. We spend three days up on the hard and I don't think we'll be able to make our goal of a maximum of four days because there's still so much to do. But more about that next week. Mm -hmm.